Three men with clubs race into the circle and wallop the beast until he lets go of the dying man, who slumps to the floor, a cat of nine tails of blood spurting from his neck and lashing the air. Jambo turns up his muzzle to catch the crimson rain and lets loose a roar. He flicks his eyes left, right, but the alley is empty enough for no one to take notice. I know Paul Houghton from um, Nawi, National Association of Writers in Education, and we were on a retreat recently in uh, Tinuith in Wales, and um, he was talking about it, and he said, do you know, I'd really like you to read something from your book, from your new novel, and it's like when I heard that the walls were dripping and that there were holes in the ceiling and that it was this incredible venue, the old Spode China Ware factory, I absolutely jumped at it. And storytelling has always been at the heart of socialising and sort of being with your friends and relaxing and taking time out. The eye of a man who looks out from himself into the world and demands that the world reveal itself to him. For five years now, Quinn had been living in the grip of this upon. He had, of course, long ago stopped thinking of himself as real. Just reading with a torch in a dark room. <laughs> I mean, people just love that, you know, because it's just very basic. You know, I'm interested in the irresistible story. What is the irresistible story? And uh, tonight's thing uh, about you know, the literary thriller, it's the most difficult thing to write and the easiest thing to read. And that's what makes it quite fascinating. It's that tension, traction, suspense, you know. Um, there's a lot that you can do with it.